Hey guys, welcome back. Recently we had Android Pie available for OnePlus 3 and 3T. But many of our users are facing issues in rooting Android Pie on both the devices that is OnePlus 3 and 3T. But if you guys haven't checked out our Android Pie video, link will be given in the description below. And if you want to install, I have also mentioned the installation guide in the description below. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step guide on how to root OnePlus 3 and 3T running Android Pie. So this is my device that is oneplus 3 let me show you the software information first by going to about section here you can see android version is android 9 oxygen os version is 9.0 so to root your device before starting off with that make sure to take a backup and then you need to have few files one will be the adb installer magisk version 18.1 Right now only 18.1 is working with Android Pi on OnePlus 3. Then we also need Magisk Manager and the TWRP recovery. In this case, I'll be using BlueSpark TWRP recovery. Once you have downloaded these files, extract this ADB installer. Once you extract it, you'll have this setup file that is ADB installer version 1.4.3. In future, this version might change. So double click on this and follow the screen instructions. Once you have successfully installed, you will see this in the status section that is ready to use. Click on finish and later you will have a folder of ADB inside C driver. So as you can see here, I have this folder in which you will have few files like ADB win, ADB win USB, fast boot. These are additional folders for all my other devices. So as you can see here, I have OnePlus 3 under which I have Magisk Manager, Magisk Uninstaller, Magisk version 18.1 and the Blue Spark TWRP recovery. Also, download Magisk uninstaller for safety purpose. If your device doesn't boot up after flashing Magisk, then you can flash this and a device should boot up. So, once you have all these files available, what you need to do is you need to go to settings on your device, go to about section, tap build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. Then go back, go to system. Tap on developer option and from here you need to enable OEM unlocking. Later enable advanced reboot and also enable USB debugging. First of all let me show you my device is not rooted and it's logged as of now. So let's check that by opening root checker application and here you can see it says sorry root access is not properly installed. So now what we have to do is we need to boot a device into fast boot mode. To boot into fast boot mode as you have enabled this advanced reboot option, long press power key and you will have this option of bootloader. Tap on this. Once a device boots into bootloader that is fast boot mode, here you can see device state is logged. So my device is logged, I have to unlock it first then we'll flash TWRP and Magisk. To unlock your device, connect your device to PC. And now go to your PC inside ADB folder, open command prompt where you have all these files available. So here I have under ADB, I have made a subfolder that is OnePlus 3. And now we need to open command prompt here. There are two options to open command prompt. One is hold shift and right click in the same folder. You will get option of open PowerShell or else you will see open command prompt here. Other than that, you can type CMD in the address bar and hit enter. So now we have command prompt open. First we need to check whether a device is connected in fast boot mode properly or not. To that you need to type command that is fast boot devices and hit enter. So this will show you a serial number that means your device is properly connected in fast boot mode. Now comes unlocking part. But guys, once again, I'm telling you to take a backup of your device because unlocking bootloader will entirely delete the data, including internal storage. So to unlock bootloader, the command is fastboot OEM unlock and hit enter. You'll get these two options, do not unlock or unlock bootloader. You can choose any option using volume key. So I'll select unlock bootloader and tap the power button. Now device will perform factory reset and it will boot into system. Once a device boots up, you can add your Google account and complete the initial setup. 
Once you have completed the initial setup, now next step is to flash TWRP recovery and root a device. So for that what you have to do is, again you need to go to settings, about phone, tap build number 7 times, go to system, developer option, enable advanced reboot along with USB debugging. Now again boot your device to fast boot mode that is bootloader. Long press power key and tap on bootloader. So after booting inside fast boot mode now you can see device state is unlocked. So we have successfully unlocked the device. Now go to your PC and again check whether the device is connected in fast boot mode or not by typing fast boot devices and hit enter. So as you can see the serial number appears that means device is connected properly in fast boot mode. Now next step is to flash TWRP recovery. So here we have TWRP that is blue spark TWRP recovery. First copy this name then open command prompt and type command fast boot flash recovery followed by the name of the recovery. So we'll paste the name what we have copied and add .img as it's an image file and hit enter. So now we have successfully flashed TWRP recovery on our device. Now to boot into TWRP recovery use volume key and select recovery mode. Press power key. So now our device boots into TWRP recovery that is blue spark recovery. And now let's copy these files. One will be the Magisk Manager APK file, Magisk Uninstaller and Magisk version 18.1. Copy them and place it inside internal storage. Once you are done with that, go to install and now you need to flash Magisk version 18.1. Tap this. Swipe to confirm flash. Once you have successfully flashed, now just hit reboot system and boot your device. After your device boots up successfully, then what you have to do is, you need to go to file manager and install the apk file that is magisk manager. After you are done installing this, later also install root checker application then open up magisk manager so here you can see magisk is updated and magisk manager is up to date if you see both the tick marks that means your device have been successfully rooted and magisk is installed now let's check whether device is rooted successfully by using root checker application we'll tap on verify root which will ask for super user request. Grant that. And here you can see, congratulations, root access is properly installed on your device. That means now our device is rooted. So OnePlus 3 and 3T can be rooted this way, running Android Pie. Also, if you have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video. And if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.